The final preparations are being made here on HMS Bulwark for the Cougar 14 deployment. The fleet flagship and her ship's company will spend the next four months at sea, exercising in the Mediterranean and the Middle East. As well as operating with partner nations, the Royal Navy will also deploy HMS Ocean. As HMS Bulwark prepared to sail from Plymouth earlier on, I took the opportunity to speak to the commanding officer, Captain Dean Bassett. HMS Bulwark is part of the Cougar 14 deployment and that deployment sees elements of the Response Force Task Group which is a, the Royal Navy's very high readiness units if you like um, deploying to the Mediterranean and the Middle East for about four months. Your crew have been preparing for quite some time, can you tell us what's gone into the preparations for this? Well the odd thing about Bulwark is she's, she's always at very high readiness so we're always at five days notice for operation so actually the ship itself is always has a degree of readiness to deploy albeit when we're planning to deploy for four months obviously we take a lot more stores a lot more vehicles and in two days time we'll come back into Plymouth Sound to embark uh, the Commander UK Task Group and also the Commander Free Command Brigade and all their staff so suddenly my ship's company will swell by another 250 people. Why is it so important? HMS Bulwark is part of the Response Force Task Group and, and to be able to routinely operate at a, as a very high readiness unit you need to make sure that you can integrate with fellow navies throughout the world so just exercising the UK achieves a certain amount but actually if you if you want to go and work with navies you are likely to work with during contingent operations you need to deploy where those navies are so for example in the Mediterranean we'll be operating with the French uh, the Greek Navy the Albanians and when we're in the Middle East we'll be operating with a number of regional partners uh, but also the Americans and the French as well as we always uh, say we plan on on a date to get back to the UK but we make sure the ship's companies and more importantly actually our families uh, are ready for the potential uh, that we may come back later and again if you look at HMS Illustrious last year that's a classic example. I mean, in a way we get the easy bit, uh, we get trained to do a job, we then deploy to go and do that job whereas our families have to stay at home, keep the home fires burning, set, take the kids to school, all that sort of stuff. Um, so actually what I would like to say now is, is to the families thank you very much, I mean their, their help, their enthusiasm um, their commitment to us is, is the only thing that keeps us going when we're away from home, knowing that they're all safe and well. The amphibious command and control ship was planned to leave Devonport at lunchtime, but the departure was expected to be delayed into the evening for operational reasons. HMS Bulwark is due back into Plymouth in December, when no doubt the ship's company will await a very warm welcome from their families. Rebecca Ricks, Forces News, Devonport.